What's up, y'all? This your girl Gomez. I'm coming at y'all to show y'all how I do, how I'm planning on doing my background for my fish tank. So, what had happened was, um, I'm redoing my fish tank, and y'all know I got a lot of white and light colors, and brown and beiges and whatnot in the living room. So, I cannot find a background that's decent enough that I want for the fish tank that they sell in stores. That's your traditional, um fish tank background you know the vinyl that you kind of like put around and you tape it to the back of the window old school or whatever i i looked on youtube now they got like backgrounds that go in the fish tank and backgrounds that you you put some kind of water oil on it child i need a background that i can just tape on you know on the sides and then take off when i feel like it but um <clears throat> my background on my fish tank is like the the bottom of the sea type scenery with the coral reefs and, and all of that and it got a lot of red and st stuff in it and i don't want red i'm trying to move away from that color so i was brainstorming y'all took me a while to figure this out but um i was looking i looked on amazon i looked on ebay i looked on fish fish background.com that's not a real website but it might be but, but i looked on everywhere that i could see if i could find a fish background for my fish tank and i couldn't find one that was making me happy and then when i did find one that was making me happy it was like forty dollars the background started to become expensive so um what i did is i googled uh rocks background and i said i already got a printer with ink in it so i'm like okay well let me see if i can print my own or think of something you know that i can find so what i did was i went to google and i typed in rocks i typed in rock backgrounds unique fish tank backgrounds and then i typed in um yeah, because at first I was looking at window tint because I was Googling and YouTubing and it was like do window tint and do um window film and all of that stuff. And, and then I, I was going to do window film like I was really like going to get one because it was like $9.89. But the way you prepare the window film, you put it on, it would have to be on the inside of the fish tank. And not the outside because if I would have put it on the outside, it would have been backwards, you know. So it would have been on the the opposite side. It would have looked smudged and smeary and whatever, blurry. That's the word I was looking for. So I went to Google and I typed in rocks and I said, okay. Then you got to get the size. Let me show you guys what I'm actually looking at. Okay, so I went to Google and I was trying to get fish tank background ideas and I typed in unique fish tank backgrounds. As y'all can see up here, I typed in unique fish tank backgrounds. And then this is what popped up. Actual backgrounds that I could probably use. But I don't like any of them. And there's not enough white in it for me. And I'm looking for something that got more white in it. Because I want, I want my fish tank to stand out a little bit more. They got some of white in it that I saw but then it had too much blue in it and I don't want no blue in it at all so what I did after that is I went to Google again and I typed in slate rock backgrounds and I came up with this so some of them have like right here you see this one got a lamp on the side and so does this one what you want is a regular one like that and you also want it to be the resolution to be big enough this one is like 850 by 680 it's the size of it so you got to get one that's like in the thousand range um so it can print out good on your printer um that would be up here where it says size right there you click on that and you go to large then it makes a bigger see the bigger ones like that and then the one I selected, you know, you just select the, the one you want. Okay, you can go that, that, that. And then you right click it. Then you go to save image. Then go to wherever you're going to save it at. I save it in my downloads. Change the name to rocks. Okay, 
and I hit save. So I'm going to go to my downloads right now. Don't ask me who that is because I don't know. Okay, so and it'll type up and I put in rocks and all the ones that I have saved look like this. So, so far I've saved that one. Let's see if I can get it. That one. Which is not the one that I want. Then I have that one. That one. That one. That one. That one. And that one. And that one. I think that's the one that I printed out. I ain't even sure. Okay, and then what I do is I go up here. Where it says print it. Then I hit it. Then it says print. Okay, y'all. So this is the one that I want. And I got it, I got it set at 8 by 10 I got plain paper because I'm actually going to be printing it on plain paper. And you want to make sure this is clicked right here. Fit to picture. That way it'll fill in most of your paper that you put in your um, printer. And I'm going to print. I'm going to put right here. Because I already... I want six of these because this is the one that I want. I'm going to put in five. Then I'm going to hit. Okay, I'm going to just click the 8 by 10. And then I'm going to hit print. And I put five. And there it go, coming out the printer. Okay, y'all, I got six pages printed because my fish tank, this way I measured it is 30 by 17. So I estimated that to be approximately six sheets. Um, and so I have printed. This is three of them. I have three more over there. And I have all of my six sheets together. And what I'm going to do is on each page... I'm going to cut around, actually I'm not even going to cut this part because on on four of them I'm not going to cut this. I'm going to let this be on the edge just in case uh, I need that extra space to, you know, to tape that to the tank. So I'm going to cut, uh, it depends. And then on that top piece I'm going to do the same. Once I measure it and I put them all together, um, I'm going to come back and let you guys see. So see all those the white trimming in the middle and in each you know section where they pay each sheet ends I'm gonna cut all of those but if it got some like around the edges I'm not gonna cut that and around those edges up there because if I need some that's hanging over then I can still use that to tape around the fish tank but I'm gonna get it together because for some I had to flip this one around um I don't know, but I'm going to get it together and I'm going to come back and let y'all see. Okay, y'all, so here is my background, how it looks uh, with all six of the sheets lined up together and I cut the white part off. Um, what you see here is before I get it laminated and it's going to be all one piece once I get it laminated and that's going to be my background for my fish tank, y'all. And I will, when I'm going to go to um, Office Depot and get it laminated. Okay, y'all, here is the fish tank with the background in it that I already had. I think I put that background in the upside down because it looks like the flowers and stuff is hanging. I'm going to try to get this off. I've seen, on, seen a video where you can get like, this is like some of these lines right here off with vinegar. So I'm going to try that. But... This is what my fish tank looks like before the background. There's no water in there, y'all, so. Okay, y'all, I'm coming back to give you guys an idea of what I'm trying, the look I'm trying to go for, which is that, you know, um, how the fish tank going to look. Well, that is it for my fish tank background. Stay tuned to my next video so you can see the completed finish 
results hopefully it comes out good and y'all thanks for watching and that's all i got to say in this video and i will holler at y'all later bye